There's a lot of things that I've seen about neighborhood gardening, where you can, a lot of the, some of the neighborhood restaurants are actually grabbing weeds from people's yards, and they're, you know, edible weeds, and they're cooking them and, and using them in the cooking. It's a cheap way to do it, I suppose, um, and adds a little bit of local flavor. You know, it's a little known fact, these, uh, these beautiful irises, the, um, the leaves from these, these long spiky leaves are actually really good onion substitutes, or actually leek substitutes. They're a little milder than onions and have a slightly bitter flavor, but um, otherwise they're pretty good. These are actually lily of the valley. Uh, they'll have flowers come out and there'll be, there's these nice gorgeous flowers. These you have to watch out for, you have to get them at the right time and you have to cook them very thoroughly. Doing neighborhood gardening is, is one of my sort of side hobbies. That's a lot, of, a lot of traffic around today, you know, the dogs barking and all that fun stuff. But you can tell this is live in the neighborhood. Um, a lot of people around here plant various sort of wild plants. And some, like in my backyard, I've got a number of weeds and I just kind of let them grow. And I'll have to show you some of those in a minute. Okay, so out walking the dog, and I come across these mushrooms. And I'm thinking that I need to make some mushroom soup. So, we're gonna grab some of these. Oh, they smell perfect. So I did want to uh, capture some of the, the uh, plants in my yard and uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the, the sort of quasi garden I've got going on here. I don't remember what they're called. They're, they're kind of like clover, but they're not really clover. These have got a delicious tangy taste. If you get enough of them, these make a fabulous tea. Here's some of my little tender iris shoots. I'm gonna grab one of these. Mmm, so good. Fresh from the garden. Oh, delicious. One of the things I like to do is take these shoots and put them in a plastic bag along with some balsamic vinegar. Uh, these particular ones are they're the ones that are the sort of asparagus. You can do this with actual asparagus too, but you know we're doing a backyard cooking thing. So soak them in, in some balsamic vinegar for about 24 to 48 hours in the refrigerator and um, then put them on the grill. Uh, sometimes your grill can get a little smoky, um, the, but these are just about perfectly done. The burgers are just regular burgers, perfectly seared. But these are looking so gorgeous, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they look so good. fresh off the grill are absolutely perfect. Oh, so good. Mm. Marinating them in the balsamic takes away any bitterness that is normally in the plant itself. Just fantastic. All oh, the taste is amazing. Oh, that does not feel good. <laughs> not your best idea, eh, Sparky? Important safety tip. Don't eat mushrooms that you find in somebody's lawn. Unless you know what they are, leave them alone. Get your mushrooms at the store.
don't eat mushrooms you find in the yard unless you know what you're doing.